we're asked to factor this expression. And there are going to be simpler ways to factor it. But in this video, I'm going to factor it by grouping. And when you factor by grouping, what you need to do is think about two numbers whose products are going to be equal to, you have actually a 1 coefficient right here, right? t squared is the same thing as 1 t squared. So we're looking for two numbers, let's call them a and b, a times b. The product of these two numbers need to be the product of the coefficient on the t squared, which is 1, and the negative 15 right here. So a times b has to be equal to 1 times negative 15, or just negative 15. And the sum of a and b, and a plus b, needs to be equal to negative 2. a plus b needs to be equal to negative 2. And once we have these two numbers, I can show you how we can use those to factor by grouping. And in other videos, I've actually broken down to why this technique works. Now, let's think of the different factors of negative 15 when we take the product, and if we take the sum, if we can somehow get to negative 2. So let's look at the different factors of negative, of negative 15. So we could do, let me do it in this other, let me do it in pink. So you have 1 and negative 15. These are, so everything I list here is going to, their product is going to be negative 15. But let's think about what happens when you take their sum. So 1 and negative 15, the sum is negative 14. And if you did negative 1 and, and 15, you're just going to get the negative of that. You're going to get 14. It does not equal negative 2. So what happens if you take, what happens if you take 3 and negative 5? So their product is definitely negative 15. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So that works. And if we saw neg if we tried negative 3 and 5 first, we would have gotten that to be positive 2. It's like, oh, we just have to swap the signs, and we would have gotten a negative 2. So these work. 3 and negative 5 work. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So what we want to do here is break this middle term up here. We know that 3 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 2. So we can break up this middle term here as a sum of, and well, I'll do it right here. I'll actually do it in the same color. So this thing here we can rewrite as t squared. I'll put the minus 15 out here. But the negative 2t we can rewrite as the sum of 3t. We could write it here as plus 3t plus 3t minus 5t minus 5t. And when you're trying to figure out which one to put first or second, you just have you should look at these these other terms and say which ones have common factors. The three and five both have a common factor with 15, so it would have uh, you, it, it it it's not as obvious which one to put first. So we're just going to go with this. 3t minus 5t. I got that from 3t minus 5t is equal to negative 2t. Positive 3 times negative 5 is equal to negative 15. That's where it came from. Now we're ready to factor by grouping. So let's take the first group. Let's take these first two terms right there. And what's the common factor there? Well, a common factor there is t. So if I factor t out, that becomes t times t squared divided by t is t. 3t divided by t is 3. So this, these first two terms are the same thing as t times t plus 3. Now let's look at these second two terms. Let's look at these second two terms right here. What's a common factor? Well, they're both divisible by negative 5. So let's factor out a negative 5. Let's factor out a negative 5. A negative 5t divided by negative 5, or if you factor out the negative 5, you're just going to have a t there. And then negative 15, if you factor out a negative 5, if you divide negative 15 by negative 5, you're going to just have a positive 3. It's going to have a positive 3. And then notice. Both, you now have two terms here, two products, and they both have the common factor. They both have the common factor of t plus 3. So we can rewrite this right here as a product of t plus 3. We're undistributing the t plus 3. We're factoring out the t plus 3. t plus 3 times t, right? Because times t minus 5 minus 5. And I want you to really make sure you feel good that these are really the same thing. If you take t times t plus 3 and factor out the t plus 3, you're just left with 
that t. If you take negative 5 times t plus 3 and you factor out the t plus 3, you're just left with that negative 5. But once you factor out the t plus 3 and you're just left with a t minus 5, you have fully factored this expression here. In the future, we're going to see easier ways of doing this, but factoring by grouping is actually the, the easiest way to do it if you have a non a, a, a coefficient higher than 1, or a non-1 coefficient. It could also be a negative coefficient out front here. When you have 1 as your coefficient here, there's actually much easier ways to factor something like this. But it's really the same thought process.